So I see a number of women coming into my clinic with symptoms of estrogen dominance. What is estrogen dominance? What does it mean? And how can you correct it naturally? So before I even kick off on this video, I just want to say that estrogen gets a bad rap. It's not all bad. Um, we actually need estrogen for a number of roles within the body. It's really important for a healthy mood, to support our cardiovascular health, to support our bones, to make eggs within our ovary. It's really actually quite important. The problem is when there's too much of it in relation to progesterone. So that is what basically estrogen dominance is, is when your estrogen levels are too high in relation to progesterone. So why can this happen? Well, it can be due to a number of reasons, but it could be because your body is producing too much estrogen, or it could be that your body is not excreting enough estrogen. The other reason is that your body could just be not producing enough progesterone, or it could be a combination of all of those put together. So either way, it's when estrogen is higher than it should be, and this can cause some not so nice symptoms. So in clinic, I will see clients with PMS type symptoms, so mood changes, irritability, depression, anxiety right before their period. It can cause women to have really sore, tender and lumpy breasts, weight gain, especially around the middle, around the abdomen and on the hips and the thighs. Uh, it can even cause thyroid issues as well, but most of the time I also see women with heavy, clotty and painful periods. And just because these symptoms are really common among so many women does not mean it's normal and does not mean that you have to put up with it every single month. So there are lots of ways that you can help to balance out those hormones. Number one is making sure that you're getting enough fiber in your diet. It's really important that you're moving your bowels each day because if you're not, you're actually gonna absorb any excess estrogen that is there back into the body. So you wanna make sure that you're moving your bowels each day, making sure that you're getting enough fiber, so lots of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, beans, lentils, and enough water as well. The other thing that you really want to do is focus on the liver. So the liver is really, really important when it comes to excreting and metabolizing estrogen. So to support the liver, you can include foods like all your brassica cruciferous vegetables. So that's your broccoli, kale, spinach, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. They are all amazing at supporting the liver and helping to excrete excess estrogen. The other thing that you really want to look at is stress and do not underestimate this. So basically, when you're stressed and you're making all your stress hormones, your stress hormones steal progesterone to get made. So if you're stressed, you're not making enough progesterone, that's when that can be low and your estrogen is high, and that's when you get estrogen dominance. So focus on lifestyle techniques like meditation, breathing, gentle exercise as well. If you're going to the gym and doing lots of high intensity stuff and you have an estrogen dominant picture, that's really, something that you shouldn't be doing. Focus on gentle exercises like walking and yoga and you will be on the right track. So in clinic I work with nutrition and lifestyle changes but also herbal medicine. So there are a number of herbs that are amazing to help balance out hormones, increase progesterone and balance out estrogen as well. So that could be chase tree, peony, wild yam, there's a number that also support the liver that are really important, like globe artichoke, milk thistle, or schisandra. They're all mini herbs that I use in clients' formulas to help kind of balance things out, help with detoxification, help with stress, you name it. So if you would like some more information on what I do in clinic and how I can help you, if you think you might need some help with balancing out hormones, get in touch. I offer a free 15 minute discovery session, so we can book that in for you and you can see if a consult is right for you. I look forward to hearing from you soon.